one. Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to troll the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the lovely shinies. I cover short films of varying genre, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and really, anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings. Content for the Blood God. Get on with the show. Tonight, I have for you in pieces a psychological horror short film this is about uh, 23 minutes so uh, make sure you have your snacks something to drink something to smoke something to um, uh, snack on uh, while we do this um, maybe a fin fidget spinner for anybody that uh, you know needs it but um, settle back relax And let's boogie. This is In Pieces by Nils Hansen. He looks like he's having a bad time. Um, hello? Alright, come on man, you ain't no Freddy Krueger. What the fuck? Hey, hey, hey. 
what? Ha, ah, puppy. So is he being possessed or something? So maybe you are being haunted because you're a douchebag. It does sort of like uh, feel like how it looks like when you're actually looking around like from your point of view. I mean, is she haunting you? sound is I think it is related to what he did to his uh, to uh, to his girl or why she left
I wonder if this is just like all the stuff that's led him to like waking up like with all those bruises on his face. Maybe that's just his depression, I'm not sure. Mark's guilt. Oh. No. So that's where the noise was coming from, inside the trunk? Blood coming from sir. What did you do? Why are you freaking so hard? Ew, blood still on your hand? Oh no. Please don't do anything wrong with the doggy. Take him, not the doggy. Are you serious? You're not gonna you're not gonna see if your doggy is okay? Oh, your doggy is not okay. What happened? Why are things so fucked up, sir? What did you do, sir? I mean, your reaction is valid, though.
So I guess that's her parents. So because you beat her and she left you, you came, this is what you... So what now, big man? What the fuck now? What the fuck was that? What the fuck? Okay, so, okay, all right, so now we understand why the noise in the trunk, why the hand on the trunk, why, uh, why she took pots, I think that's your dog's name, it's your fault, you did this, she is coming to get you, and you deserve every bit of it. Oh yes. Oh, she is coming. I understand the darkness now.
Gonna go meet your destiny. <coughs> Meet your darkness. So there are a couple of things at play, I guess. Um, his coming to terms. Um, well, yeah, drugs and alcohol, but uh, uh, that's more to cope with the uh, the guilt and the shame uh, for what he did, and trying to like he's been trying to repress it, uh, and. Um, at first I thought it was, uh, like his, uh, the girl come back to get him. Um, but I feel like it was especially at the end where like he confronted his darkness. Um, and I guess accepted it. Um. I, I wonder if this was like um, um, I feel like this was his like his coming to as a serial killer um but coming to terms with the fact that he did it, um, and like it, you know, it wasn't her that the darkness was. It was a it was a mirror reflection of him. Um, uh, the dog didn't deserve that. Um, and again, I'm I'm just still not like quite sure that it, like why it wasn't the girl coming back because the thing came or whatever came out of the trunk no 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 never mind no because that was him uh, uh, that was him remembering that he had put her in the trunk and that was his handprint that was on uh, on the trunk um, and he couldn't wash the blood off um, and uh, like that was really uh, definitely definitely trigger warning for anybody uh, with um, domestic abuse um, a little bit heavy and a little bit on the open-ended side of like endings but it, this does suggest that um, he was happy uh, sinking uh, or falling down the spiral so uh, like I said I, uh, I, I kind of think maybe it was like the birth of a serial killer um, because he snuck right into the house and fucking straight up fucking snatched this girl like not only fucking like uh, like took her out but snatched her from the house without anybody knowing uh and it was it was it, that was some i was some hard shit right there um i know there's plenty out there plenty worse but uh, i don't really care to go seeking any of that so that was um, 
In Pieces uh, by Nils Hansen. Uh, that was pretty damn good. Um, and um, like I said, a little bit like open to interpretation. Um, yeah. Um, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, be safe, be happy, be healthy. I love you all. And I'll see you in the next one.